down right now. Because you know what will happen if you try to tell me what to do out on stage. This is the Yeezus show. This ain't the whoever the fuck you is show. You know you How many people came here tonight on a special night with somebody that they love? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do like some old school shit that I used to do. That. It's dead in the heart. It's dead in the heart in the house tonight. Stand up. Somebody said I did something that's going to end my career. And 10 years later, I'm still here. Right here. Right, right here. So what that makes me think is, uh, it must be people that, with all the lies that you see on the TV and all the shit you read and all the negativity, it must be people who actually like positivity. It must be people who actually like inspiration. It must be people who actually believe in themselves. It must be people here that believe that they can be anything that they dream. It must be people here that believe they can be anything that they dream. And if you believe you can be anything, If you believe that you could be anything, anything, anything. If you believe, if you believe, if you believe, if you believe. If you believe, if you believe. Because it's like two types of people in the world. See, there's a dreamer. There's a dreamer. And then, uh, there's a second type. There's also haters. The only difference is one thing, one thing. Haters forgot about their dreams. Haters forgot about their dreams. Haters forgot about their dreams. And they look at you dreaming, they look at you dreaming, and trying, and they don't want you to do anything.
you know? I just figured out that the word fear is a four letter word. Fear is what keeps most people back from trying. And it's not even fear of failure. It's fear of embarrassment of failure. It's fear of other people's words. Tell me something tonight. Have you ever heard anybody ever talk shit about me? So, if I could take all the shit that people talk about me and still dream like this to bring a mountain to the middle of this stadium and open this up. With all the shit that people talk, I want people to see me and feel like this is an example that anything is possible. Because I'm not the one that's scary. You are what's scary to them. The idea that you wouldn't be controlled by dumbass media manipulation. They wanna hold you, they wanna hold you, they wanna hold you. And they so scared, they so scared, they won't control you, they won't control you. They're so scared, they're so scared, they don't know what to do, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do, they don't know what to do. You know, most of the hate that I get is from my old ass generation. You know what I'm saying? People that's put so far into their box, so closed in, so closed minded. They dreams got dead in a long time ago. And you know, I feel more sorry for them than anything. You know, like, I, I got into a lot of trouble, I guess, trouble for using uh, that Confederate flag and everything. So let me really explain to you what the, the thought was. It wasn't about racism. It was about free thought. All these symbols, signifiers, words, insults only have the power that you give them. You can take the power into your own hand. You can move so much faster than the, than the older generations. I was born without the motherfucking internet. My dad was born without TV. The only responsibility, the only responsibility we have is to each other. Cause hate and racism and fear are taught and inbred in us. And why they're so afraid of me is because if y'all can see me do everything that I do and remain for 10 years, then that might remove the fear that they want to put in all of you. So when I, when I wrote the song, I Am A God, it ain't no cliche, oh, here's Kanye getting being cocky, talking about you and God. No, I want to try to have that in your headphones when you go on a job interview, when you jogging, when you about to play sports. And I wanted you to feel like you could do anything. I want my music to be that shot of cocaine, that shot of espresso, that extra 
boost the confidence that you might need when everything is so motherfucking weak and you just need to believe that something is true. And you know it's like, it must be working. Cause without no radio playing, every one of these shows is sold out. Without no radio play, no video play, the music sold out in 11 minutes. <laughs> and I know I, 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 you know, I was kind of turned last year. I might be turned up a little bit. Just a tad bit a smidgen. The bottom line is, I'm happy that I was able, able to do this for y'all tonight, and I want to be able to keep making contributions. Contributions to society. Contributions to thought. Contributions to the spirit. Contributions to confidence. For you to not fear the consequence. Because failure to try is the only failure. And I hit a couple walls. When I hit those walls, I turned up. When I hit those walls, I turned up. But guess what? I got my ideas still now. And I got my little office. And I'm working on my little clothes every day. I'm working on my shoes. And it makes me so happy. I get to see my girl, I get to see my daughter, I get to see my father, and all of my friends, and it makes me so happy. So when they catch those photos of me looking extra mad, don't believe it. Because they try to write me off in society as the mad wrestler and shit. The eternal bad guy, the away team. The thing that makes me the most happy is when someone comes to me and says, that song, Can't Tell Me Nothing, got me through my day. Or, or yay, my mama passed away, and that song, Hey Mama, really meant something to me. Or when people say, my beautiful Dr. Twisted Fantasy is my favorite album of all time. That makes the nine months that we worked on that album so worth it. And this is what I mean when I say we're about making a contribution. And it should be respected as such by every single media outlet. No more low-hanging fruit. No more bad guy. It should be respected as such. And that's what I'm fighting for. This ain't no SNL spoof. This is every night to 3 a.m. trying to make something that you can enjoy, that can inspire you, that can be the soundtracks of our lives. This ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. A lot of people get up and say, you know, I would die for what I believe in, but I, I switched that up. I decided I'm going to live for what I believe in. Because I need to be here. Because I'll be looking at certain shit that come out here and certain shit come out, I'll be like, I need to get to the studio very quickly. I feel so comfortable. It's something about these moments when these chords play and I'm in front of y'all that I feel like I'm in my, I'm in my living room. I feel like I'm around loved ones. You know, I know that uh, for y'all to be here after all these years, you must love me. And I come out 
and I express myself and wear my heart on my sleeve because I love y'all too. And when I talk that shit, or rather talk that truth, it's for those of you that don't got a voice. It's for those of you that if you turn up, you'll lose your job, and if you lose your job, then you lose your car, and you lose your house too. So when people be trying to play you, you gotta be quiet. But I can't get fired off this stage. So it's my responsibility to turn up for whoever don't got the voice. So maybe tonight might have shed just a little bit of clarity, a little bit more clarity, a little bit more understanding of the point, of the passion, of the mission, of the reasons. 